is very, very cheap. I think I only got this for about $2.99 at a pharmacy. So where can you go wrong with that? Now, my last styling product, and a lot of you know what this is. This is Kinky Curling cu Curling Custard. Now, let me tell you, when I first got this product, it was complicated. And I hear that it is for a few naturals out there. Because you can never, it's hard to, this product, it's very, what should I say? It's really, it's like a custard. And sometimes you could end up putting too much in your hair. And it'll still do the job, but it'll be very sticky and all over your your, your neck and your forehead and everything if you put too much in. And with this stuff, it, a little goes a long way. This is on the expensive side. It's about... I think I got it for this year, $25.99. I got this at Ricky's NYC. And it's a bit inexpensive, but I can say it's well worth it. I just started using this stuff again. And the last time I started, I used this was a year ago. And it was because my hair was shorter. And I used to want elongation all the time. I heard that this gives good elongation. And when I tried it, it really wasn't. My hair shrinks up a, like a mofo. So... Basically, I just took a break from it, and I just pulled this out a couple of days ago, and this is my hair styled from it. This is two-day hair right now, and I love the definition it gives. Like I said before, I like to blow-dry my wash and goals because I love big hair. I don't really like the wash and go look, and I personally feel that my hair looks like a jerry curl naturally anyway. I've come to the conclusion that in order for this to work for me, and for somebody with lots of shrinkage, I don't know if this is a fine hair, if it's a thick for fine hair. My hair is very fine, and I guess when it's light, it just, since it's very coily at the same time, it just shrinks. My hair is shoulder length. Probably, I don't, I haven't measured it in a while, but it's probably, a, it's shoulder length and a little, probably a little bit longer. But my hair, if I leave it be, it will shrink like two, three inches, and you, you would never... <laughs> even know how long my hair is. I used my um, VO5 Moisture Milks underneath it. They do have their own leave-in conditioner, and I'm. I actually do want to give it a try. I hear that it works really, really well. But that's actually an alternative. And on the website, when this first came out, she actually said that this works very, very well with VO5 Moisture Milks. So I highly recommend Kinky Curling, Curling Custard. I can show you pictures of what it did to my hair before I blow dried it. Now, on to my treatments. I deep condition my hair every two weeks. I used during the winter time I upped it to it every week, but as it's getting warmer, I don't really need to deep condition my hair that much. The humidity is, seems to be working with me. But for my deep conditioner, I like to use Queen Helene's Super Cholesterol. And I add honey and olive oil to it to make it, yeah, better, of course. And that gives my hair lots of shine and everything. This leaves my hair nice and pliable for a whole two weeks. I deep condition with a heat cap. Sometimes I sit under the dryer if I feel like it. Yesterday morning, I tried a new thing. It's called the baking soda treatment. And basically, I added two teaspoons of baking soda to my conditioner um, and I loved it I left that in my hair for about an hour and I love the results like my hair was soft soft like okay there's yeah I use some products my hair can be soft some conditioners leave my hair soft but when I mean soft my hair was softer than it's ever been I got this from Miss Heather Nicole she has a video on this treatment what the baking soda does is everybody knows that baking soda pulls out moisture. I use this with this conditioner and another, an old one that I just didn't really like. But I use that. I put two teaspoons of that this baking soda in my conditioner, deep conditioner. And what it does is it pulls the moisture from the conditioners and puts it into your hair. So I guess that's why I had an effect of... I just had extreme softness. My hair was just extremely soft. I did read about it, and a few ladies said it it um loosened their textures a bit, but I didn't really have that experience, so I don't know what to say about that. I guess 
they left it in longer. Maybe if you do leave it in a little bit longer, it will loosen up your texture. But I really, really do recommend it. If you look on my Foki, you can see the results it gave me. So that's it for the products I use. If you have any questions, feel free to leave some. Any comments, any requests, feel free. I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can.